Hi y'all, Logan here with another video. Today I got something really cool to show you. This is the Home Depot exclusive SVI Grimacing Pumpkin. This was originally released back in 2021 and then returned for the 2022 season. This was a hit last year. This is one of SVI's many, 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 many pumpkin props that they just do a lot of. And I definitely see why. This is kind of a more unique one. For one, it's not a wall mount like the a lot of the other ones have been. It's not a pumpkin stack. It actually has no audio. It just lights up. It's as simple as this, which is kind of nice. It's more simple. It's quiet. I like that. So Grimacing was kind of one of the big deals in their Rotten Patch line, along with the 12 foot like pumpkin monster guy. I don't wanna call him a scarecrow because he's really not a scarecrow. But he was released alongside with that and it was one of the heavy hitters of the season. And it was, a, I mean, it was an instant hit. And I wanted it because I do a pumpkin patch and I thought, wow, that looks really cool. Not everyone who I knew owned one said it was really big. And when they said it was really big, I was kind of thinking like the size of those tall blow molds or like the larger scale SVI pumpkins. No, this thing is freaking huge. Like this is probably proportionate to the 12 foot skeleton head. This thing is massive. This thing could be like its own like m measurement unit. Like, I don't know if anyone else does that who really likes Halloween decorations, but I, I will compare like certain prop sizes. Like, oh, is it two scoops big? Is it Grim Grave and Angel small? Like, I do stuff like that. This is its own like unit of measurement. This is gonna be like grimacing big now. This thing is massive. I know I got punked on a little bit. Because as soon as I got it, I went to group chat. I was like, this thing is huge. And I was like, well, yeah, everyone knows that. I was like, well, I didn't. Because I usually think people are being dramatic. Right? Because people sometimes are dramatic. It, it, it is what it is. No, people were like, legit, this thing is freaking massive. It is humongous. Like, it is obnoxiously large. Right? And it's, it's cool. It's really cool. So, kind of scooting up closer, the sculpt on this thing is super dope. It looks like it's rotten, you know, with how the skin is softening and wrinkling. You've got, like, these little holes in the side of the face. And they pretty much kept that texture all the way around, which is nice that they did that. It's kind of flat, and then right here is where the lights are. Mine's kind of popping out a little bit. And then down here is the battery compartment. It just takes three AA batteries. Pretty simple, because all it does is light up. And it's kind of a blow moldy material. It's a, it's plastic, it's really lightweight. And it's got these like LEDs. It's got some on the top and some towards the bottom, because I've seen it, I've seen it opened up. And they just kind of twinkle and flicker a little bit. And it kind of looks like, you know, like there's a candle inside of it, which is a nice little effect. I think it looks good. I've seen it in the dark and in the dark, it looked really nice. It's just a nice looking prop just in general. The face is super creepy. I really like it. It's one of those just really ooky spooky kind of pumpkins that I personally like. I like having a mix of scary and kid friendly pumpkins. So of course I definitely went for this. I don't remember the exact price point. I just know it was kind of priced. I think it was like 50 bucks or something like that. I don't remember. If anyone remembers the price, leave a comment down below and I'll pin your comment so everyone can see the price point. But I know it was a little bit pricey and I think some of it is just because of how big it is because it's a humongous pumpkin. And it was definitely one of their standouts for the Rotten Patch, which I, t I get it. Like, I totally get why, because this thing is super cool. It's so neat. I like it. I want to get more of the Rotten Patch pumpkins, especially from last year and this year. 
they they didn't stock them online this year, which still annoys me. They just like this in my pumpkin stack, but I digress. It's a it's a really cool piece, you know. It has this really cool screen over the eyes and the mouth that makes the lighting shimmer and shine. Now this is my first SVI pump. Well, technically it's my second one. So I'm not. I've never really like played around with them. So I'm not used to this really cool shimmering effect that the fabric does. It's a piece. It's like a plastic film with fabric over it. And it, and it distorts the light, and you can see it on camera. It actually picks up really well on camera, where it gives this really nice shimmery, sparkly effect. It looks really nice. I have another one. It's sitting right behind me from Cracker Barrel. I have to get special batteries for it. But it has that same film, and I think all the other pumpkins, and I know the like the big skull and stuff also have that like that screen and it gives just this really gorgeous and really nice shimmer which kind of drives home that nice flame effect it, it, i do kind of prefer this over like the flame effect like what the techie ones have i think it's more fitting for this it doesn't need to be all intense and spooky. Though SDI can do the flame effect, they did do that on the 12 foot pumpkin. And they do that on masks all the time. I do like this. It's just more simple. It's more subtle. It's just not as like in your face crazy, if that makes sense. I don't know, I still like it. It's a really nice addition to any sort of pumpkin patch display. If you don't want to have like any crazy props in it, this is kind of a good replacement. Now it has a lot of props in it. I just wanted some bigger pumpkins to add a little bit of, I guess, dynamics, you know, because pumpkins come in all different shapes and sizes. So that's why I was more open to getting bigger pumpkins this year. But for those of you who really can't for giant animatronics or don't have the space for giant animatronics this is really for you i recommend it now this is not outdoor rated i should make that abundantly clear it did not say anything about it being outdoor rated on the tag it actually said indoor use only it did not look outdoor rated so that is one thing to keep in mind it's more of a kind of a porch piece or put it out on Halloween or just put it inside when it's raining. You know, just be careful with it. You don't want to ruin this one. But yeah, it's it's a nice item. I definitely highly recommend it if you can get your hands on one. I believe it is currently either back ordered or out of stock right now. I know when I first ordered mine, it said it was in stock and then as soon as I, as soon as I ordered mine, it went out of stock and then it went on back order when it came back in stock. And I was one of the unlucky few who had to wait. But I was like first in line because they kind of made them, they made a mistake on their end, which is okay, stuff happens, you know? But yeah, that's grimacing. I highly recommend this, especially for any sort of pumpkin patch or if you want kind of an edgier, spookier pumpkin to sit on your porch, put by your window or anything of the sort, go for it. It's really cool. It doesn't make any noise, which is really nice has a really pretty like just glow to it which again I really like that's kind of my vibe that I like to go for and it's just a nice looking prop overall hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and while you're at it hit the notification bell and just know whenever I'm gonna upload some random spontaneous video I do it all the time and I'll see you in the next one bye guys